That's not a knife. This is a knife. I don't really need to put on an accent, no. do I? <laughs> What's happening guys, Alexander the Great Volkanovski here, UFC featherweight champ, and we are about to show you my 10 essential items. Let's go. Coffee, my coffee. I love my coffee, man. I'm a coffee guy. Australia is very big on coffee. Depends on uh, what beans you got. I got a favorite back home, is a probably a white horse. It's the one I use for my coffee machine. I used to be fine with coffee where I just make my own, you know, water, put the coffee in and a bit of milk where now I've got my own machine. I just need my espresso uh, cappuccinos and flat whites. I'm a bit of a coffee snob. Don't judge me on that. My coffee machine uh, does all the grinding of the beans and everything. You chuck it in and it does everything. Wake up. Press the button, it's even named Alex. Half a scoop of uh, normal sugar and then half a scoop of like Natvia. That's it, I press Alex, bit of sugar, ready to go. The air fryer is uh, my go-to. It's easy to cook things for the kids. Literally, if you want a steak, you cook a steak, press a button, you want chicken wings, press a button, you can look like a real chef. So uh, my favorite thing to cook in these is chicken wings. I usually use uh, different flavored chips, like on my YouTube channel. I'll do a cooking with Volk, a segment. It's always a hit, people love it. People love uh, seeing uh, like salt and vinegar, chicken wings or chicken strips. I've done Doritos, I've done the world's hottest corn chip, chicken strips and things like that and easy to do. Chuck it in there, a light little spray and you would literally think it was deep fried and you save uh, thousands of calories. So what's not to love about an air fryer? You need the protein, that's something you can't lack. I need protein every few hours. Shake it up, eat it in the morning. I don't have time to cook breakfast, but I need the calories, chuck a banana, CBT protein, blend it up, you're good to go. You'll be surprised with how much you can eat and the calories you can have if you're training hard and eating right and still lose the weight, hold the muscle and do all that type of stuff. So now I know all that, it's easy to just go bang, bang and have it. Keep the guns uh, rolling and happy. Uh, you don't want to lose that muscle, yeah? Another thing I like to have uh, with me and in my kitchen, a nice carving knife, especially because I love my barbecues. I love my cooking and I love cooking my steaks and having a nice carving knife with you so you get that perfect slice on camera. It is essential for me. You know, against the grain, remember, always against the grain. I can tell you a lot about a, a steak. I cook a mean steak, but the carve for the camera, everyone loves it. That's really what sells uh, on a cooking channel is how good you can carve a nice steak. talk about legacy, I talk about making that money. This is why I want to make that money. This is why I want a legacy. I want to look after my family for the rest of my life. And a legacy is going to do that. And that's why I, I do what I'm doing. That's why I, I'm disciplined in my dieting, as you can see through, through what I'm talking about, discipline in the gym. That's why I work so hard. I'm always raising the bar, I'm always being better. Whether it's inside or outside the cage, be better because you've got a family to feed and uh, I want to be a good role model, not just for them, for everyone else, but family is everything to me and it's pretty obvious. So I make sure I have a family photo with me at all times. So the wife uh, loves watching it, she doesn't mind it. She knows more about UFC than probably me, but uh, the kids, they understand it. You know, they all, obviously, whenever it's on uh, TV, she's like, oh, daddy, that's what you do. Like, they know what's going on. So uh, that's pretty cute. But again, that's why I do what I do for them. You need to have gloves with you at all times. Essential for me, because uh, as I said, I'm a professional. Always want to be better. Always want to raise the bar. Uh, and the only way to do that is to, to be training and, and you know uh, improving your skills. This has been a sponsor since very, very early in uh, my career. So uh, it means a lot. A company that's uh, sort of backed you from the start. But I mean, at the same time, you need your, your fight wear. It's, it is obviously essential. I do mixed martial arts, so I need to protect uh, my hands, the knees, shin pad, like shins, head, everything. So you need to make sure you got the right gear to do your thing and uh, make sure you always have them with you so you can sweat anywhere in the world. Even when I'm here working, even when I'm on holidays with the family, it doesn't matter where you are, have them with you because you can get a nice workout, get a good sweat out, and uh, you're sorted. Try and stay, uh, you know, try and stay reasonably healthy, reasonably fit, just in case uh, someone wants you to get your shirt off and you need to take a photo. You want to be in half decent shape, so make sure you're taking a boxing gloves or MMA gloves, or whatever it is, anywhere in the world so you can get a sweat out uh, while you're doing your thing. 
the whole series, see, eight, all eight of them. Yeah, I grew up with it, you know what I mean? I still watch it, it's sort of recycled now because my kids uh, watch it and I got them into it, which is good. It's an excuse so I can keep watching. I've watched each uh, movie 20 times, I reckon, easy. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it brings me back to when I was a, a, a kid myself and you know, I come here, it's fight week and I chuck on the TV and Harry Potter's on and I'm like, yes, how good's this? I've got the cards, I've got like a selection of uh, wands, Harry Potter cups, I've got shirts, I've got pajamas, uh, Harry Potter everything, because I absolutely love it. Oh, Gryffindor, of course, you know what I mean? Gryffindor, what well, there's meanings to it, you know, there's a lot of them are like brave, like Harry Potter. I find myself very brave, I feel that, you know what I mean? I feel, I feel Gryffindor. It's surprising after so many years, I still uh, can watch uh, Harry Potter so much. I still do it fight week uh, and everything. So that's probably something a lot of people didn't know. What do you do fight week? I watch Harry Potter. I've been talking to you guys the whole time about air fryers and no oils and nutrition and all that type of stuff and diet is key. But you can still sneak in a bit of chocolate every night. I like to finish my night with a little bit of dessert and I love my chocolate. That is definitely something that I always have with me even after my, my weigh-ins and all that before I go to bed. I still, before my fights as well, I'll have a little bit of chocolate. It makes me feel good, gives me energy. Again, I've got a sweet tooth so I absolutely love it. It never gets old. I don't know, I literally have it every night. You think you'd get over it, but I never get over chocolate. I never will. Watch a bit of Harry Potter with a bit of Cadbury chocolate and that is your night sorted. Got a good shine to it, yeah? I got this uh, when I was champ, so this represents me being the champ. So I can't carry the belt with me everywhere as much as I would love to. I uh, just carry a big, heavy, golden, shiny belt. Uh, but this represents uh, me being champ as well. Because I'm the type of guy that, you know, when I'm back home, I'm just me. I'm a pretty chill dude, I'm pretty down to earth, and I forget about the whole champ thing sometimes, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm just me, I'm daddy, you know, I'm daddy back home, uh, which I'm proud of. But sometimes, you know, when I'm in front of a camera, I need to remember that you're the champ, you know what I mean? Own that crown. You earned that belt, you deserve to be comfortable owning that belt and owning that crown, you know, show yourself, you know, show, show who you are and what you're about. But at the same time, own that crown and uh, be you. So it's like wearing a, a wedding ring. It just uh, lets me know uh, what I'm all about and you know, what I'm what I'm doing. Obviously, I can be that chill dude and uh, down to earth, which I am proud of. But at the same time, own that crown and don't be. Uh, you're not cocky by doing that. You can be confident in yourself and and you can wear that proudly. As you just know, I'm bald Volk now, and I need to keep this nice and shiny as uh, regularly as I can, because uh, it does grow quick, wherever it does grow. This keeps me shiny. I like my shiny belts, and I like my shiny forehead. I feel like it's a new me, so I like to stay sharp and shiny, because that's my new look. Once that hair went, and I had this new bald uh, look, people are starting to see me be a lot more confident in front of the camera, I'd be myself, you know, I'm not uh, second guessing myself, I'm not worried about offending people and all that type of stuff, I can just be myself, be comfortable being myself and uh, that sort of new me came with that uh, bald head, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna stick to it. Bald Vox coming for everybody. All right guys, that's it. My 10 essential items that I like to have with me at all times, this is what keeps me going. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, hope you've learned a lot. Thanks for listening, till next time, peace.